Guns can pose a great threat to this nation. Many people are easily able to obtain firearms, such as this one. This is why we need to have a firmer grip on gun control. There are many perspectives on gun control, but the two main ones are the idea that guns shouldn't be controlled at all, or that they should be fully controlled. Politics often come into play, as Republicans feel that they should not be controlled, and Democrats feel that they should be very strictly controlled. We propose that they should be controlled to an extent, and that certain limitations must be considered. Many people against gun control address the Second Amendment as a statement of their gun rights. The amendment states, A well-regulated militia, being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. This is very controversial, as the language used has created considerable debate over the intended scope of the Second Amendment. Many believe that this clearly states that they have the right to own guns, and not allow the government to pass gun control laws. Others insist that this amendment was intended to allow people to bear arms, but with regulation and laws governing them, therefore believing that gun control laws can and should be passed. Many Republicans believe there should be no or very little limitations on gun control. The NRA or National Rifle Association share these beliefs as well. They believe that it is a fundamental right of a citizen to own a firearm, as stated in the Second Amendment. Any laws or restrictions on guns are considered an infringement of the citizen's rights. A citizen should be able to use a firearm for self-defense and to protect their family, as well as their property. If law-abiding citizens have guns, they will be able to defend themselves and others from criminals. Democrats take the standpoint that gun control laws can and should be passed. Hillary Clinton stated in her presidential campaign, I'm not looking to repeal the Second Amendment. I'm not looking to take people's guns away, but I am looking for support for the reasonable efforts that need to be undertaken to keep guns out of the wrong hands. Democrats blame the lack of gun control laws for gun crime, which can be partially supported. They also link school shootings and other such crimes with lack of gun control. Although Democrats have held the presidential office, they have been unable to pass any gun laws due to the fact that there is a Republican majority Senate and Congress. We propose a gray area between the two. Of course, no limitations on guns can lead to abuse and easy access to firearms without background checks, opening up the door so anyone can get a gun. This can be extremely dangerous to the public, for criminals or even terrorists can easily get their hands on a gun. On the other hand, strictly limiting guns or putting a ban on them is not a solution either. If a ban is placed, only law-abiding citizens will follow these rules, while the criminals will keep their guns. This will also endanger the public because criminals would have their guns and the public will be defenseless. In addition, we need to eradicate the loopholes in the system of obtaining guns. At gun shows and online, there is no background check necessary to get a gun. But no matter how much or how little gun control is put into play, the safety of this nation will depend more on self-control than gun control.